In this video, we'll learn how to set up a score in Sibelius, and we're doing it based on the first few pages of Beethoven's Third Symphony. And we're going to learn how to set that up so we can start putting the music into it. So we'll start off by clicking Start a New Score, and we're now in the New Score Wizard. The first thing you'll see is a list of manuscript papers, and that's the list you get with Sibelius. And we could scroll down to find an orchestra that matches the Beethoven orchestra. But it may not be exact, so let's try and set something up from scratch instead. Go back to the top of the list and choose Blank, and then click the Change Instruments button. Now, at the top left-hand corner of this dialog box, you can see a few options. We've got Common Instruments, All Instruments, and various other groups and ensembles. We'll leave it on Common Instruments to start off with, and in the family below, you can see the different instruments. Let's click on Strings, and we want to add our Strings section. You can add each instrument by clicking on it and clicking Add to Score, or you can simply double-click on the instrument. Or you can click on one instrument and then Command-click or Control-click on Windows and click more than one instrument at once. So now there's the strings added. The next instruments we'll put in are the woodwind. So we'll go to the woodwind family this time. We'll find a flute, oboe, clarinet in B-flat and bassoon. Now you'll notice in the list on the right-hand side that Sibelius has put those instruments at the top, and that's because Sibelius knows correct score order. If you want to change the order of the instruments for some reason, you can click on the instrument and then click the Move Up or Down buttons to move the instruments up or down in the score. And you can also come back to this dialog at any point whilst you're using Sibelius by clicking I. So you can come back to the score, take instruments out, add instruments in and change the order at any time. The last instrument we need to put in is the trumpet in E-flat. And if we go to the brass family in the bottom left, you'll see we only have a trumpet in B-flat because we originally only chose common instruments. So we're going to go to all instruments this time, scroll down until we see the trumpets, and there is now a much longer list of trumpets that is available, including quite exotic ones and we'll choose the trumpet in E-flat and click OK. Now at this point, we could actually click Finish and go straight into the score, but instead we'll hit the Next button to set up various other elements in the score. So you can see, for a start, we've got various page sizes available, letter size for the US, portrait or landscape is possible, click Next, and you can now change house style if you need to, but we won't worry about that right away. That's a more advanced Sibelius use. If you hit Next, and now you can change the time signature and the tempo. And for the Beethoven, you, you'll need to choose 3-4, and the tempo marking is Allegro con Brio. Note also that you can choose a pickup bar if you need an anacrusis at the start of the piece, and this is the time to create it. Finally, we need a metronome mark at the start, and right now it says quarter equals 100, but you can delete that, and from the drop down menu, you can actually choose a dotted half note. So choose a half note first, and then choose a dot, and then it's going to be equals 60, so you can edit the number. Now, if you hit Next again, you can change the key signature. And for the Beethoven, you can choose E-flat major. Last but not least, you can go into the score info and type in the title. And type the composer name if you need to as well. and other details if you need them. And once you're happy with everything that you need, you can hit Finish and Sibelius will create the score. <laughs>